Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope everybody's doing well. Shout out to all 32 of my subscribers. <laughs> I just want to do a quick video on the latest software 2020.12.5 um, everybody pretty much knows now we can watch videos now from our screen which is great should have happened from the beginning but now we have it and I love it however the main reason I'm doing this video is because I want to talk about how I access my footage remotely now prior to this update I was using this wireless uh, scan disk card it was only 64 gigabytes it wasn't high pro or high endurance. I've had it for 18 months and ironically, it crashed prior to the update. So I still wanted the ability to um, access my footage remote. So I did a lot of research and the first thing I did was purchase this Samsung 128 gig uh, high endurance card. This is specifically made for dash cams, home honoring, GoPros. You get the uh, idea. I should have bought one of these cards from the beginning but now I have it. I'm gonna leave this in the descriptions below if you're interested. Um, also, in order for me to view my footage remotely, I bought this adapter. Now I have an iPhone. I'm not sure about Android, but this pretty much connects right to your phone and you're able to view your footage directly from your phone. Now, why do I have this? Uh, well, in the event you get into a car accident, your car is vandalized and you wanna share some footage, let's say with your insurance company or the cops, or just save it to yourself and you don't wanna to wait to go home, you can view it instantly. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I view my footage. It's pretty much easy. You put the SD card in here, plug this into your phone, and voila, you're able to access your footage. Okay, so I just removed my USB stick, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, remove the SD card. I'm gonna place it here in this adapter, just like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and just plug it in the phone and we'll, I'll show you the footage right now. Okay, the app that I use is called Cam Viewer. This is free in the App Store. Check it out if you want to. As you can see, when you open up the app, you see the three folders, Recent Clips, Century Clips, and Save Clips. Um, so we'll go ahead and select a folder. And as you can see, uh, a bunch of your videos here are displayed. Uh, for example purposes, uh, these are videos actually inside of my garage, as you can see. Uh, you can view all the cameras, left, right, front, etc. What I like about most is you can share your clips or save your clips on the spot and share it via text, email, etc. Okay, guys, I want to quickly go over how to format your SD card, and this is using an iMac computer. Uh, pop your SD card into your computer, open the Disk Utility app, and you want to go ahead and press the race button at the top of the window. Um, you want to type in Tesla Cam, all in capital letters. Then you want to go ahead and choose the MS-DOS FAT. Select the race. Give it a minute or so to race. After races, you want to select Done. Then you want to quickly open the uh, Finder app and select the Tesla Cam drive on the left side. Once you find your uh, folder that you just named, on the right side, you want to right click and select new folder, and you want to rename the folder Tesla Cam, all one word with a capital T and a capital C. Once you name the folder, you want to select the eject button before removing it, and you're done formatting it. All right, guys, that is a wrap. Hopefully I saved the day for some of you all out there. I know there's a lot of people always asking what SD card to use, how to access your video remotely. This is what I use. This is what works for me. Might not work for you. It may work for some people out there, but um, feel free to leave me a comment. I know there's gonna be a lot of people disagreeing, but oh well, we could agree to disagree. Anyway, stay safe, stay healthy, and remember, work hard, but play harder, and I'll catch you on the next one, peace.